No, this is Hotel Rue. We're not oh, staying here. Shani, we were supposed to stay here. This is the yeah, room. We stay here. Oh, so we got my cousin over here. No, I like, I like, I like we got my other cousin, Shanice. We got Dia, my best friend. Oh, Mad extra. Be here. <laughs> I don't even think you saw what I was doing. I was trying to sing a little bit. I was trying to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we here. Are we ready to, we ready to turn up? Are we ready to turn up? Yep, my feet chilling. That's why I was talking about feet. It's the It's your girl Glam Never Same here. Back at it again with a big itty again, honey. And yes, as you guys can tell by the title, I went to Jamaica with my cousins, and my two cousins, and my best friend. And we had a freaking blast. And that's on who on period. Before I begin, guys, don't forget to subscribe, tap that bell to be notified when your girl uploads. You already know it be a movie over here. Cause period. So we finally booked the girls' trip. You know how some people like they say they want to go on a girls trip but they end up not going or you know it's always it, it takes a lot people don't get it it takes a lot to go on a girls trip because you have to make sure people don't cancel and stuff like that like i remember i had to cancel one time um because i was moving and i couldn't do both so yeah but anyway um we went to montego bay jamaica we stayed at the hilton rose hall one of my good baddies from Jamaica, she actually lives in Jamaica. She actually referred me to that hotel because we were gonna, like, we wanted a resort where, you know, food and drinks is free, um, and it was nice. So we was gonna go to the Rue, but the Rue is very cheap looking. I don't really like how the Rue looks. It's not giving Glenn Neferson. Um, I also heard the food was bad and stuff. But I will get to the nitty gritty about the food. I had to go to the Rose Hall because she said that it was a great hotel, which it was. It was definitely good. I, I have a lot of things that I'm sad about or that hurt my feelings <laughs> that I will talk about, okay? So I'm gonna talk about the good, it's like a story time kinda, so it's like the good and the bad about what happened to me in Jamaica. So the good things was I had fun when it came to like, the, the hotel was nice. The food, I'm gonna give the food like a five only because I had to eat to live. But I didn't care for the food. I, I was expecting pop and Jamaican food. But it's a resort. People, you know, they, 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 they explain that it is a resort and it's not going to be as popping as it would be like at an authentic, you know, Jamaican spot. So, yeah, okay, um, it's giving, you no. Know, like, and then I was like, dang. I wanted some some oxtails here, but it was no oxtails. Like it was no oxtails. So the and honestly, guys, I was going to vlog, but when you're having so much fun, it's hard to pick up the phone and be like, I got like do the whole thing. Like of course I'll take a few snaps here and there, a few videos for Instagram and shit, and a few reels or whatever. But I can't keep holding the phone. It's just a lot. But I'm a part. I promise. My next trip, I'm gonna vlog more. It's just, it was giving too much for me. I couldn't do it. I got my wig installed um, the day before we left. And y'all, my wig was coming off. Like, it's, glue does not work for me. I can't use any wig glue. I, the only thing that works for me is got to be, that stays on for days. But glue does not work for me. But it was so hot in Jamaica, so I, I expected my wig to stay, but it didn't. Um, but it was nothing. I easily just, you know, remove the glue and put it back on my head with my got to be spray because I always come prepared, honey. Always. I like the rooms. The rooms were nice. I love the hotel. The pool was nice. I would definitely go back to that hotel. The people was nice. But it was cool. Like, I like Jamaica. Would I go back? 
probably not. <laughs> and the reason why I say not is because um, I can't be myself there, which is a lesbian. So if I wanted to go back, it would be with a girl, like my girlfriend. So if I can't be gay freely out, like, because I'm scared of what's going to happen, you know, it's not um, being gay is not fully accepted there. So I'm not going to go back there with because that's that's what I want to do. I don't want to go back on a girl's trip. I want to go back with my girlfriend um, and I don't want to be kissing up on her and then something happens. So I'm not going anywhere, wasting my money anywhere and I can't be myself. So that's a definite no. I would not be doing that. So the, the first day we just, you know, we ate, we chilled, we went to the, we explored the hotel. We, it was a nice, we got dressed up, it was nice. We got, um, we ate some edibles, that was crazy. We was like knocked out. First night, I'm not gonna front, the food was amazing. Like they had like a nice dinner out and the food was good. It's just, I'm gonna give, you know what, at the resort, I'm gonna give the food like a six. I'm gonna give the food like a six and a half because they tried, they tried. But you know, with, with resorts, they make the food for the tourists. And a lot of the tourists can't have, you know, the salt and the, the spices. And I just feel like they should have a separate thing for them then. Like this should be the side for, but then it's like singling them out. But I mean, fuck it, oh well, like, you know. But anyway, <laughs> the resort was very beautiful. The pool, I couldn't get like past how nice the pool was. So the Tuesday, that was Monday. Tuesday, we went to Martha Bray, which is a nice, um, it's a witch's river. And it was a witch that lived there and everything. It's, it's a real nice story. I don't want to tell all of it in case you guys go, but Martha Bray River and rafting. So you know, they have the, the little, they make little boats out of bamboo sticks. It was very nice and everything was kind of affordable. Like I would say, you know, I'm also going to do a video on what to expect in Jamaica and um, what not to do and what to do. I think it was like $60, I think. It wasn't much, it wasn't a lot. But we went there because we really wanted to do that and we took our pictures, we was looking real cute. I didn't get in the water because I don't know how to swim. So yeah, that was very fun. Oh, let me show you how, um, when I went to the Martha Bray. Um, there are vendors there before you get on the boats and they just be selling stuff. So I bought this purse, it's very, very cute. It says Jamaica on it. Very cute, I love this purse so much. And um, I can't wait to wear it. I should actually wear it today because I'm going to this, the phone store. I should wear this today because it's so cute. Ah, but I, I mean, I like to have memories. What's this in here? Oh, a pair of my glasses is actually in here. Yeah, I bought that purse, it was like $40 or $35. I like to buy things that is gonna, you know, I like to buy things that, that would help me remember, um, you know, when I went somewhere. Because if you can't take a picture or you don't have anything concrete to remember, like to remind you that you went there, it didn't happen, okay? And stuff, and that was very fun. I really enjoyed that. I feel like if you go to Jamaica, you definitely need to do that. Wednesday, I met up with my friend um, who lives there in Jamaica. I love her, she's so dope, guys. Go follow her on YouTube, I'll leave it down below. Took, she actually picked us up and took us to Peppers. It's a, a restaurant there in Jamaica called Peppers. Very, very nice restaurant, I loved it. I was so hot, y'all. I was so hot, I had my fan, but it wasn't like, my fan ended up, my fan ended up dying, and y'all, I was melting, like my makeup was melting. But it was very, very nice. She's so sweet. She picked us up, drove us there. And y'all, it's so cool, like, driving on the left side. Like, she drives on the right side, and I sit on the left side. I was sitting in the front, it was just so cool. The oxtails was okay, the rice was nasty, but the my cousin had some freaking uh, lobster, delicious. Um, and then the festival was amazing. I tell you, the, amazing. Now, the service does take long there, so if you're not a patient person, don't go there. But it's definitely a nice, very, a nice place. If I was to go back to Jamaica, I would go back, but I would not get that. I know what I would get now. I probably would get that 
lobster, which was amazing, and some festivals, and boom, like that was bomb. Thursday we went to, we paid we paid $120 for a two for one, um, two, two trips in one day. So basically first we go to Bob Molly's uh, house and we see where he was uh, born and raised. And then, um, then we went, which was very fun guys. And then you also go, after that you go to Dunn River Falls. So Bob Molly's house was amazing. I really liked it, I'll leave pictures. Um, that was so much fun. Like we had a driver. It was only it was only us going. So usually they'll have groups, but it was only us going. So we had a toy guy named Michael. He was cool the first few hours, and he started to get mean after. Like a ha he just had a little attitude. Okay, he had a little attitude. We saw a nice like um, performances. Like we just had a wonderful time. I was drinking Red Stripe, y'all. I was getting in bed the whole time. I was, we was getting drunk the whole time. And what I really liked was after they took us for free lunch. So you get a free lunch as well in that packet. So we went to some restaurant. I think it was called the Jerk, Ultimate Jerk Center. This, I remember food because I'm greedy. The Ultimate Jerk Center, we went there. Amazing. Okay, ama amazing food to me. Festivals. Now see, Jamaica had the best festival. Um, I do feel like the food I had in Jamaica was not touching at all the food I had here like and I've had we went to two authentic Jamaican restaurants and the, now I will say that Joe Chicken and Festival was amazing and I would say that festival I've never had festival like that in here like in the States but I've had better Joe Chicken but we ate we went to the Dun River Falls now Dun River Falls I would say it's a lot of walking, which is good for you. I don't, I, me, I would never do Dunn River Falls again. If you're not an active person, if you cannot swim, you should not be doing that. Don't do a Dunn River. I wish I would have just stuck to my guns and stood at the beach. If I would have stood at the beach by myself and just, you know, just rocked out, I would have been okay. But, you know, I don't like to be a... a a person that sits out and just watch everybody have fun you know I don't like that so I was like let me go ahead and do it because my cousins wanted to do it and my best friend wanted to do it so you're basically climbing up like rocks you're like rock climbing but it's a whole bunch of water gushing out gushing out gushing out like and it's, it's, a, it's a natural river it's just it's not for me it's not for me out of the whole time and like going being in Jamaica that was the worst experience and that made me not want to go back to Jamaica because it really turned me the fuck off. Like, I was pissed. So we had a, um, a, a guide to guide us up. His name was Oliver. And he was rude as fuck. Rude as hell. If you ever go to Dumb River Falls, don't go with Oliver and that's on period. He took us up to, no, so, okay, so he grabbed my hand first. I don't know why he grabbed my hand first. I'm glad he did because I let us up without us falling. I feel like if I would have felt, everybody would have felt. So he let us, we, we was going up. I was like, I don't really want to do it. I think I want to stay here on the beach. So before you go up and climb up, there's a beach there. So the beach, it was nice. I, I really wanted to enjoy the beach because the beach that they had at the hotel was not it. It was not popping. It was like a tiny little strip of sand. It wasn't it. So I finally saw like a nice beach and I was like, oh, this is beautiful. So we going up i'm like i don't like this i want to go down he's like okay let's keep going like he didn't care like we kept saying we want to stop we want to stop i didn't like it and then my friend my best friend and my cousins was like they could feel my anxiety like i was just like i don't like this i was like scared the whole time i'm like like we, you have to wear water shoes but them water shoes was holding on for their life like it just was not a good experience i felt like i was going to die like i'm not used to stuff like that I'm from the city. I'm a city girl from the 212 period. So I was just like, this ain't for me. <laughs> okay guys, so I have to finish the video like this because um, the other day my camera had died and that was like the last video of the day. So <sighs> now before I take off my makeup, I just wanted to tell you guys, guys, this is like two months nails. Like I did get one fill in August fifth but look at my nails like august 5th nails and this one is cr like this one is cracked 
I don't know if you guys can see, but it's cracked. So that happened. I don't know how that happened, but yes. Anyway, guys, these were my vacation Jamaica nails. That's crazy. And I just got a feeling that's crazy. But anyway, guys, basically, I almost died. I feel like we all almost died when we was in Jamaica. Like, we went to Dun River Falls. At the bottom is a little beach. You know, I really didn't like the guy's attitude. Oliver, he was our guy. I didn't like his attitude at all. Um, I felt like, oh my God, I'm the first girl. If I fall, anybody else gonna fall. So, like, I feel like we all were collectively like, all right, we don't wanna do this no more. Like, <laughs> it's not giving what it's supposed to give. We end up going, I kept telling him I wanna go back down, I wanna go back down. He like, all right, whatever. We crossing, going back, crossing, going back. So the only, they said, okay, before we went, they said it was, it was a way that you, whenever you want, you can exit, but that's a lie. That's a big lie. Because basically you're going up one level, two level, three level, four level, and then there's an exit at the fifth level, but there's not no exit, like whenever you just wanna leave. Like, no, you have to climb up in order to exit or climb back down and risk dying like then he's like oh don't he kept telling me don't step on the ground what's the ground because you just stepped there too like i was just that's something i would never do again if i ever did Dun river falls i would stay at the level where the beach is and that was it that would be it like but anyway so we ended up going we finally got almost to like the finishing line we had just one more level to go but it was like right there and um, my cousins and my best friend decided to take a picture. So he was like, no, no pictures, let's go. Like he was just rushing us and being rude. So he like, no pictures, let's go, let's go. And they like, no, we wanna take a picture. Like we, we, we spent our money, we wanna take a picture. So they stopped, I was taking their picture cause I was not getting down there. Mm -mm, I was at safety, I was not getting down there. So, um, because basically in the Dumb River Falls, it's, there's some holes where there's nothing but water. Like it's, it's a whole like black hole of water. So you fall down there and nobody's gonna get you. Period. And I don't know how to swim, so. And then I ended up cutting my damn, the back of my ankle, but I mean, it's expected. I'm taking a picture. I, he was waiting for us. All of a sudden, I'm like, he left us. Like he literally disappeared. I'm like, where the fuck did he go? He ended up leaving us. I'm like, yo, like that was just such a scary experience because like some people might be like, oh, it's not that serious. Like if you live there, yeah, it, it might be different. But for me, it was scary. Like me and my cousins don't do that type of stuff. We went to KFC, KFC was, everybody was saying it was delicious and it was good, but I just feel like the customer service was the same as it is here. Like not good. So, I mean, what do you expect? It's KFC, so. But um, it was cool. Like it was a cool experience. I'm glad I was able to go on my first ghost trip with people that you know, we're very fun. And we always just laughing nonstop. We always high nonstop. It was just really fun. Free drinks. But I loved my Jamaican friend. She was so dope. I love her. Her energy is just amazing. Like, I love her. So I would definitely go back to see her. <laughs> but yeah, and let her show me around and stuff. But yeah. So yes, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a big fat thumbs up, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, tap that bell, all that other good stuff, check out my other videos. If you guys are liking this look, go to Instagram so you can see what I have on. I just came back from celebrating my best friend's party, birthday. I am recording on my new phone. So yes, guys, don't forget to love yourself first. Keep it grammar. Grammar, never since I need. I love you guys.